Hey guys and welcome back to Tabletop Assault. I'm Rich. I'm David. And today we've got another Kill Team Battle Report for you. I'll be bringing my uh, Space Wolves. And I'll be fielding my Demons list that you've all had a chance to see before. So what we're bringing for you today is the Mission Supply Drop. Um, there's six objective markers in the battlefield. When you claim that objective marker and roll a 1 to 5, it is nothing. In roll of a 6, it becomes a primary objective and all other markers are discarded. Um, that primary objective is worth 3 victory points at the end of the game. So you get your usual Slayer Leader, Line Breaker, Break the Enemy, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah. Just as a quick little side note, I want to mention before we show you the armies, is when we were working out how to do the kill teams um, <coughs> months, months back now, yeah. um, there was one golden rule. It was don't take Thundercav yeah. <laughs> in kill team. But... We thought that was the right time. Yeah, that was before this demon list. So um, yeah. let's take a look at the armies. So this is the Thunderwolf Cavalry kill team list that I have been um, tweaking for four months now. You have indeed. <laughs> um, so first up, my leader, identified by dice number six there. He is Ivar the Boneless. You might start noticing a theme. Yeah. Um, he is bringing a bolt pistol and frost sword. He will obviously be proxying the shield right. and hammer there. Um, next up, We'll go through the kill team specialists. Number one at the front is Bjorn Ironsides. Now he is my indomitable specialist, and he has the feel no pain special roll for a five up save. Like he needs it. Like he needs it. Um, but again, he's got a frost sword and another bow pistol. So um, again, a little bit proxying there. Um, up next, in um, a marker two is identifying Sigurd Snake in the Eye. Now he is my combat specialist and he's taking the killer instinct trait, so he'll always be wounding on a 2-up. Now because of the price of Thunderwolf Cav, he's just got a chainsword and a bolt pistol, so that 2-up's going to come in very handy yeah, I think. Right. And lastly, marker number 3 is um, Fitzig, the um, last son of Ragnar that I could possibly squeeze mm -hmm. into the um, naming conventions for my, for my Thunderwolves. He's also just using a chainsword and bow pistol, but he is a dirty fighter and he's taking the murderous blows special roll, allowing him to re-roll all failed wounding rolls. So here we have the demons list that everyone's been talking about. So we've got four screamers of Zinch and three flamers of Zinch. Uh, Mark number six is my leader and he has a greater reward, giving him feel no pain four plus and he'll be um, distinguished by dice number 6. So my specialist, I have dice number 1, which will be my combat specialist with death blow. Dice number 2 for my Screamer has Executioner, so always wins in a 2+, plus. quite nice. And finally, Screamer number 3 has Feel No Pain, my Indomitable Specialist. Now, I know almost every game I get the Warlord trait, been there, seen it, done it. I'm not lying, I rolled it again. Three times? And we kept re-rolling until I didn't get it. <laughs> um, I'm not lying, guys. When I, you must be thinking I get it almost every game. I genuinely do get it almost every game. However, we eventually re-rolled to a 2, which gave my Warlord Quink Thicker, so I can steal initiative on a 4+. Plus. And that is my Demon's List, or Tangerine Terries, as we called them last time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and show you deployment. So the Thunder Wolves are out and down. Over this side, on the on my left flank, I have Bjorn Ironsides. In the back here, I have Ivar the Bonus, my leader. Then we have Sigurd, Snick in the Eye, and Fitzig, both ready to run up to these objectives and um, hopefully find the right one. So with that, let's go see what the Tangerine Terries? Yep, the Tangerine Terries. Let's go see what the Tangerine Terries have done. So as I'm sure you can see here, this is a very familiar setup to the last <laughs> time I played these guys. In fact, it's identical. Isn't it? Yeah, so we've got Screamer, Flamer, Screamer, Flamer, you get the picture. Um, as much as the wolves have to charge me, I, I want to I wanna go for a fight. I want to do this. Um, so yeah, that's my deployment. Not much to really chat about there. We've got two rolls to make, we've got Night Fighting and Seize Initiative. 
So I chose to deploy second, even though I won the roll off, but I wanted to just see where he placed his wolves, I guess. So first of all, night fighting nope. is not on. Doesn't have really much effect. No. And seize initiative on a 4+, plus because a quick thinker. So, let's move into Chaos Demons. Turn 1. Okay, so we won the season initiative roll. Fantastic. Um, as you can see on the board, um, I'm just probably going to move my flamers up, try and find out some objectives, see what they are, as it is supply drop. I'm probably going to boost... What do demons need supplies for? To stop you getting supplies. Oh, asset denial. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm probably going to overload my, my slash attacks over onto the wolves and just try and pick off a thunderwolf or two. Because they do have a 24 inch turbo boost. It's, it's terrifying. Yeah. With that, let's move my guys and we'll show you where everyone's left off. We finished off the movement, so my flamers have basically jumped up. Um, we've found two crates have nothing, so they're not the primary objectives. And I don't want to get too close to the wolves, okay. so yeah, but let's see what we did over here. I hate them so much right now. So we actually managed to get all four to angle over two wolves with our slash attacks. Um, so I basically, I'm going to start with one, try and whittle them down, and that happens to be one of your specialists. Yep. And then well, they're all they're all yeah, your yeah, specialists yeah, yeah. or the leader. And then I can try and whip onto your leader. Now, guys, this is something we've debated at the channel, and we played this the last two times we used it. Um, basically, the slash attacks they don't specify if it's treated as shooting or as combat. So what we're deciding to do is, as a turbo boost, we're choosing that it's actually a combat attack. Because if you think about it, they're whacking the model, it's not they're shooting the model. So what that means is our specialist abilities can have an effect like death, blow, execution, or that sort of jazz. We wanted to theme it up a little bit. So with that, let's get our slash attacks ready. Screamer 1 with death blow. You know, he flew over these two models and we're going to choose the snake in the eye. Sigurd, snake in the eye. Sigurd, snake in the eye. With killer instinct. So slash attacks is D3 hits first of all. So that's three hits. They are strength four. So your toughness five, so it's fives to wind you. Okay, we get two wounds. Now with death blow, any failed saves is reduced to zero wounds. So Give me one or two. Three up. Oh Sigurd so snake in the eye, took a snake to the eye. So that is first blood for the, the demons. Now we move on to the next one, and all again, they all flew over these two models. So my screamer next with Executioner is going to hit your Warlord. So it's D3 hits. It's one hit. It's always twos to wound with Executioner. That's a wound. Yep. He's fine. He's fine. Basic screamer with feel no pain, slash attacks, D3 hits. Oh no. It's a wound though. And another three up. And he's just fine. And my last screamer. Two hits. Fives to wound. No wounds. That was actually quite good. That's fine. So, wow. That could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone horribly wrong. Um, but you have killed the specialist though. So, yeah, Killer Instinct is removed. And that is first blood for the demons. That's the end of my turn. That's something. So, <laughs> let's move into Space Wolves. Turn one. So Sigurd Snake in the Eye is now Sigurd Snake in the Pit. Yep. And uh, is gone. So um, with that, I'm just going to, you know what? Should I just do my movement phase right here? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I know you're going to charge in. He's going to go there. He's just going to turn around. And I will double check with the tape measure in 30 seconds. He'll be in But range. he's just going to flip around there. And then yeah. they're all going to charge in. And much deafness. And deafness is now a word. So with that, let's um, let's just go into the shooting phase. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. So Fitzig is going to shoot his pistol at Screamer number one. Just go for it. Pointless. That does the thing. Hits. So he hits. It's a four to wound. He wounds. It's a wound. Get a quick save. Five up. Demon save. And he's down to one wound. Oh boy, it's a good start. Next up, we'll go on to. Uh, what are we? Ivar the Boneless, my leader, he is going to attack your executioner screamer. So he needs a few dead, he hits, and he needs a four to wound. 
Anyway. Five up invul save. Ooh. And he's saved. And lastly, we have Bjorn Ironside. He's going to attack Death Blow. Death Blow guy. Leaving a three to hit. He hits. Leaving a four to wound. He does not wound. With that, let's just do some obligatory charges. Yeah, he's in. So he's in. Yep. Next one. In. Wow. And this is when I'll fail. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he's you're in. Not Look at failing. That. So everyone's in the combat. We'll be back and get this resolved. We're going to a start. That we're going to a start this attack with uh, Fitzig, and with his Hammer of Wrath, will be wounding on a three. That does nothing. And he now has six attacks on the charge because of his pistol and obviously charging in. Yep. And um, so he will be. What's your weapon skill three? I'm weapon skill three. So I will be hitting you oh, on threes. threes, and that's a full half of them. And he will be wounding you on. He's just got a chain sword, so it will be four ups. But these no, are no, threes. You're tough as three? Tough as four, so you're not threes to win? No, he's strength five, of course. So, so threes, yeah. yeah. Threes, and these are re rollable. So that's two wins. Two wins. Now he's already taken a win, so he just has to fail the one. He'll get his attacks back, though, because it's the same initiative. So five up in Vol. Oh, he's if dead. only I rolled a one, I could have re rolled it. So he will die, however, he'll get to attack back. Uh, I'm just going to use my one. My, my Lapras, basically. Strength 4, AP 2. You'll be hitting me on... Fours. Yep. Bye-bye, Screamer. Do I consolidate? I shot him. Mm. Yes. Okay, so roll the dice. He can move six inches. Next up is Ivar the Boneless. He is going to be attacking your specialist. Yep, Executioner. So, so I will be getting my Hammer of Wrath first on a three. Nope. <laughs> And I will be um, using my frost sword now, so I'll be hitting you on threes. Oh, 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 very oh. nice. And these will be wounding on twos. So you yeah. strength six with the frost with the frost sword. So that is oh, still only three. Still <laughs> enough though. So you got two wins, that guy. So five up in vols. I get to reroll ones for the marker's oh. inch. Oh, it was Dead. so close. So it. I'll get to attack back. Um. Is this your one attack, or are you going to go with multiple ones? I'm going to use one attack because he's cause his executioner. I'll get to win on a two plus. Um, Bjorn doesn't yeah. feel the pain, though. so we don't hit anyway. That is another dead screamer is inch. Alrighty, so um, Bjorn Ironside, because that was actually Ivar the bonus I attacked with there. Sorry. Yeah. And um, so Bjorn will be. Hammer Wrathing on a three. Oh, a Hammer Wrath went through. Nice. So, five up, demon save. And he's wow, fine. Man. So, I now have my six attacks. They'll be hitting on threes. And they will be winding on twos. So, that's four attacks. Has he got an ability, yeah? Um, no, he's got fuel again. Okay. But has he got a frost sword? Yes. That's why. So, he's winning on twos, right? These are five up invuls. Oh, just again. Wow, well, yeah. Right, I will get to attack back, so I'm going to use my Lapras, so 4 plus to hit. Ah, oh, nothing can hit. That's, That's another one dead. So aside from confusing the names of my Thunderwolves, sorry, um, everyone's consolidated and just revealed this objective here to be nothing. That's fine. So um, with that, let's go on to Demon's turn 2. Okay, we're at the start of uh, Demon's turn two. I've just jumped these two up here and we revealed another objective, which is nothing. Okay. <laughs> My warlord or leader is going to stay back. And coward, quite, coward. Quite sneaky with him. Coward. <laughs> he has indeed. And I've turbo boosted my other screamer with Feel No Pain over your leader. Um, so he's out of charge range, but I can now get more slash attacks. So with that, let's go into the shooting fillet phase. Fillets. Phase. And uh, drop some flame down on that poor wolf. Okay, we're going to start with the flamers. I'm just going to do them both at the same time, guys. We've got boom and boom. boom. So, we are wounding on fives. We get a wound. Cool. So, three up save. Please fail it. Oh, oh no. Love it. I was hoping for a water flame test. I really was. 
Uh, okay, um, and next up we have the slash attacks from my streamer. Yep. On uh, is it Bjorn? That would be Ivar. Ivar. Ivar's leader. Okay. So D3 hits. That's three hits. Oh, I'll no. just get myself another die. Okay, now these are fives to wind you. We only get one wound. Uh, three up. No, oh, he's actually taking it. So he's down a wound. Um, Okay, that's fine. I've got five wounds left on the table to try and mulch off somehow with a force that's whittling away. Uh, guys, that will be that will be the end of my turn as I don't want to declare a charge because I would like to wall a death. So let's move into Space Wolves, turn two. So after movement, um we have uh, Bjorn here, just ran on up, and so did Fitzig. So they're going to go after the Flamers. Meanwhile, Ivar just found himself over here, and we were joking about this, and then I rolled the six. Yeah. So we have the objective. So all that objective is now nullified. <sighs> Let's go into the shooting phase. So we'll just make those cracks straight on. You go for it right now. So needing threes to hit this Flamer from Ivar. It's a wound. It's a hit, even. Yep. And it'll be forced to wound. Forced to wound. It's a wound. Would you like to make a save? Five up pinball. Smashing. Uh, takes a wound. So he's down to one wound. And now Fitzig will shoot at. Fitz. Yeah, Fitzig's going to shoot at the flamer. And he misses. Cool. And um, that's going to be it for the shooting phase. Let's get ready for the assault phase and hopefully wall of death. So Bjorn's going to charge into this injured flamer. Do you care to wall death me? Yep. D3 hits. Oh. Five to wind. Well, that's over. Yeah. Uh, you're in. Just smack. And oh, look. You're super in. Super in. And Second now, one. Fitzig is going to charge into the other flamer. Wall of death. That's uh -oh. more like uh -oh. it. Oh, 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 Fitzig. Fives to wind. That's a wind. Failure save. Come on. No, 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 no. Now that's down uh, to one wound, and he'll have to take a warp flame test at the end of the phase, which if he fails, bye bye, wolf. No point in rolling, you're definitely in. Yep. So, do you want to do your first one here? Yep, we'll do Bjorn's Hammer of Wrath. So, it'll be wounding you on a three. And he does not. And he attacks you on threes. It's six three attacks. For charging, and he will wound you on twos. Because of the Frost Sword, am I right? Because of the Frost Sword, yep. So, I've only got one wound left. I will get my attacks back though, but uh, so yeah, uh, five demon save. He's dead. He dies, right. but he will get his attacks back. So two attacks. I have force to hit. One hit. Okay, and I am fives to wound. Strength four, toughness five. Oh, Nothing. Branded. So that is a dead flamer. And the next one. Uh, Fidsig is now going to attack this other flamer, and he will be hitting on threes. No, hammer of wrath first. Yep. Which is wounding on threes, and it's a wound. Would you like to make a save? Demon save, five plus. He it does, makes well, it. Well done. And I have my six attacks for the charge with the chainsaw, hitting on threes, and wounding on fours, re rollable. Re rollable. So three Why wounds. is it wounding on fours? Uh, wounding on threes. Oh, that's still, fine. That that's fine. Okay. Yeah, cool. Sorry, guys. But still re right. My re roll still fails. Five up demon save. Bye bye. Oh, so he does die, but he'll get his two attacks back. Hit on fours. Nicely done. Wounding on fives. Uh -oh. Two saves. Uh oh. No! So he takes the wolf with him. It's actually Bad. quite. It's a weirdly even slash uneven game. Yeah. So do your consolidation for that wolf. So Bjorn and Fitzig. Fitzig's dead. Oh, Fitzig's dead, yeah. So yeah. It's Bjorn moved two inches so, and he'll just yeah. sidle. So that'll be an end to the Space Wolf phase. I'm down to just my leader, Flamer, and a Screamer. You have Thunder Wolf. I have Bjorn and I have Ivar. But your Warlord or leader is down to one wound. Ivar's down to one wound. Mm. This is, uh, the game's in the balance. It's, oh wow, it's good. Let's move into Demons, turn three. All I did in the movement was be a coward, <laughs> um, and I've jumped my my leader out yeah. of charge range from your other Thunderwolf, and I did turbo boost over your leader, 
Do I need to pick off one more wind? Of Ivar, and you've got him. So let's do that right now. So D3 hits from slash attack. It's two hits. It's in the balance. Fives to wind. Come on, give me a five. Oh no! Beautiful! Um, we'll see you in the Space Wolf turn. <laughs> that's the end of the Demon's turn, guys. Let's move into Space Wolf's turn three. Quickly running into the uh, Space Wolf shooting phase, because after my movement, I brought my. Um, I brought Ivar around here, and Bjorn is now around here. Cool. Is switch places. So Ivar's two bolt at, pistols. Ivar's after Bud. So two bolt pistols. So just roll them both at the same time yeah, because yeah. I'm at the point screen. otherwise. So on three to hit. That's one hit. And that'll be four to wind. That's one wind. wind. Screamer. Five up demon save. Nope. So he's down to one wind. And I will charge. Just make a charge move. And Whoop. even without the other dice he's in. He is in. So let's just do that, and I may as well just do my Hammer of Wrath. Yep, go for it. And that's a wind. It is a wind. So five up demon save. Oh. oh, wow. So I need three more dice to complete this round of attacks. Here we go, I've got dice there. Oh, perfect, now you're up. So um, Ivar will be hitting on Freeze. threes. And he will be wounding on twos because of his frost sword. So three saves to make. I will get my attacks back, but I think this is the end of the game for the screamers. Uh, five up demon save. He's dead. He is dead. He's dead. Now, I'm just going to do my Lapras attack. So I hit you on fours. These screamers can't hit anything in combat today. And uh, I think that will be the end to your turn. Yep. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see what I'm going to do here. I might concede because I've only got my, my leader left. But let's move on to Demons, turn four. Okay, so at the top of Demons, turn four, I'm going to concede. Um, I just have my leader left against a, a leader of Thunderwolf with one wound. Oh, there yeah. there's, there's three wounds I need to pick off. I can't feasibly achieve it. Um, what had undone me was my screamers and their rolls. Too many ones and twos for yeah. the hits. However, fun game. Glad to see demons could pick off some wolves. Took it five wounds in total. Pretty effective. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's have a wee chat about it. But uh, well played, Rich. Okay, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. That was something else. Demons finally knocked off the mantle. But yeah, by utter spam and cheese. I think we expected that as an yeah. outcome. Um, Thunderwolf Cav are There's a reason filthy. we banned it. There, there, there's a reason, a legitimate reason we banned it. Absolutely filthy. Um, I think the demons were, you know, there's part in that battle I was like, I think it was like turn two. I was like, oh my god, I may actually do you this. You swarmed me, I was, I I was hardened, there was a good chance. That, uh, you had the potential for the wall of death with the flamers. Yeah. That was that was good. Take but, through, actually. It just didn't work. I would um, say, let us know what you think. Like, yeah. are any lists that you guys have seen, fought with, or came across that you think would match that really, really well? Yeah, that's or, it. Your thoughts yeah. for versus um, Thunderwolf Cav. We want to know what list you would take against them. Um, I think if you if you watch, guys, the previous kill team, we had the Grey Knights versus Ross's Corn, and the Grey Knights did pretty, pretty well, but there was a troop transport in that, which changed the game a little bit. Um, we're thinking we might field those two against each other. Yeah, because they could. Means the Grey Knights get AP3. They've got a vehicle you need to chew through first with an assault cannon on it. Still, AP3. You're killing those wolves if you hit them. But you're a toughness five. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, we'll see. That, we'll work that one out soon. But we really enjoyed that. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't like to. I wouldn't like to say <coughs> that the demon list is off the top spot yet. That was just. I think against any normal kill yeah. team, um, the demon list is still is pretty much out there. It's yeah. something special because you've seen the potential of what it can do. Um, but we wanted to really put it up against Thunderwolves and uh, <laughs> just for a laugh, just, just, just for a laugh to see what would happen. Um, but guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, give us some comments and leave your thoughts. And we'll see you next time on another tabletop assault battle report.